All right, I thought I would do a real quick follow-up to the post I made yesterday on unbalanced audio over UTP. So I'm going to do a different style here. I did uh, RCA in my other video, RCA connectors. This one I'm going to use uh, 3.5 millimeter mini style stereo plugs. And I'm going to run four channels of audio over one UTP using this mod plug. I've got my boot that I won't forget to put on today. Uh, and this is uh, stereo. So this has a total, uh, I'm going to cut this in half and we'll have a total of four channels. All right, so let's get going. These are the only parts we need. It's pretty easy. And the tools you need, cutters, crimpers. You can use any crimper or any cutter. Doesn't really matter. We'll make this kind of short. All right, so uh, this is a six foot cable. I'm going to cut it in half so that I can use, uh, use it twice. I'm just cutting this in half. And not forgetting the boot today, like I did yesterday. This is a lot tighter than the other one, so we'll get it on there. Mm. All right, I'll be back. All right, got that on. Just as an aside, if you've never had an occasion to need to do this, a little bit of dish soap detergent is a phenomenal lubricant for getting wires like this on and it comes off clean. All right, so I'm gonna strip this back to about here. This one is a little trickier than the one we did yesterday. The one we did yesterday was pretty straightforward. This one's gonna be a little different. Yeah, come on, my feather. I'm going to be very careful not to nick that inner set of wires. Uh, this cable has a drain shield. It's a better quality cable. I'm just going to trim this. All right, we have three conductors in here, two signals and a ground shield. So this is a little bit uh, tricky here. We got three wires on each of these for a total of six and eight holes in here. Not a problem. It'll work just fine. I'll show you how to wire it up. I'm having a little trouble with this. This is actually a higher quality cable than I expected. I just bought the cheapest one at the store. Wow. It's like double insulated in there. All right, there we go. So we have six wires. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so now we're using uh, white for the left channel, red's the right channel, almost always. I don't know how it is wired in here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We can switch the RCAs on the other end. All right, so what we're going to do, and I'll probably have to make up a little diagram because it's a little confusing, but this is essentially our first channel. So this is going to be orange and white orange on the mod cable or the Cat5 cable. And then this is going to be green. There's no green and white. We're going to skip that because we have a common ground here. It's not necessary to have that other conductor in there. Then on this side, we have our channel number two. Uh, white is going to be our blue channel, so blue solid. And then this is going to be brown and white. And this will be brown. The only reason I'm doing it that way instead of putting this with blue and white is it just makes it a little easier for me to assemble it. It doesn't matter which side it's on. There's common ground on both sides. Uh, so one of these is essentially not going to have a ground. It's unbalanced. It doesn't really make any difference. All right, these are way too long. I'm going to trim these back to be a little closer to the right length. 
probably about that long. I want these to be a little bit on the long side. I gotta do some straddling over the other lines, um, but not too bad. Also, these are a lot thinner than the other ones were, so it may not grab onto those very well. I may have to, I may have to strip this back and double those up. We'll see. I have another connector in case I fail. All right. So this is our orange and white orange, and this is green. This is going to be blue, brown and white brown. So these two are crossed, something like this. Okay. Now these two will be next to each other, these two will be next to each other, and there will be a space in between these. Not between these two. Where the uh, green and white normally goes here, we're going to skip that hole, and the blue and white normally goes here, we're going to skip that hole. Alright, so these three go together, like so. Got to keep them in the right order. These two go together, and then this one's by itself. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll get it. Not too bad. Alright. Try to get close enough on here so you can see what I'm doing. Alright, that's pretty good. Getting the brown, brown and white, green. Got that. I missed with the blue. Let's try again. There we go. Brown and white's messed up now. Back over there. Alright, that's it. Orange and white, orange, skipping green and white. This is blue, skipping blue and white, green, brown and white, brown. Again, I don't know how these grounds are going to hold. The shield conductor will actually hold in there or not. Because the wire gauge is really too small. But we'll, we'll see how it works. Alright, so... That is what it looks like. Hopefully you can see that on camera. Probably gonna have to do a little diagram to show you exactly what it's supposed to look like. Connectors are really tight in here. Alright, let's see how we did. Those shields went in okay. Yeah, it looks like they did. Looks like it grabbed on. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can see how the forks pierce the wire. It means it made a good connection. Alright, so again we're using orange and white, orange, we're skipping green and white, blue, skipping blue and white, green, brown and white, brown. And they're crisscrossed. So the channel 1's on the left of each of these, and the channel 2's are on the right. Alright. And I did cut them a hair too long. You can see how it bunched up there. I wanted to make sure that this is being grabbed onto here so this doesn't pull on those connectors. This should work just fine. All right, so that's how it's done. And this is now going to transmit four channels of audio to stereo pairs on the same UTP cable. I'm going to plug this in and give it a test should be just fine. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy running audio in a different way than is very commonly available and easier to install than another type of wire. Alright, if this helped you out, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Thank you.